Ha! Greetings! I am a Viking storyteller and today I am here in this good old garden of mine to tell you a story about a man called Jack the Lad. Ha! Some say it is actually Jack of Kent but whether it is I do not know but please watch and enjoy this old story. Now many many years ago in the land of the Anglo-Saxons, the land of the Vikings. Oh yes, you can tell I love Vikings. There lived a, a, a lad, his name was Jack. He was a young lad coming, you know, to the age of becoming a man. He's not long got his first pair of boots and his first pair of trousers. Oh yes, yeah, often a sign that you are becoming a man in the good old medieval age. And, and so he wanted to go out for an adventure. You know, because he was very adventurous, he had lots of spirit, and he was a very kind young man. And done time for everybody, and he wore his heart on his sleeve. An old saying, a true saying. And so Jack, you know, he went out. You know, and started to walk out, and just as he walked out, his cat from the farmstead where he lived said, Oi, are you going out on an adventure? said the cat. And Jack said, Oh yes I am. And I know the cat said, well, I want to come along. And so Jack agreed that the cat could come along. And so they'd been walking down a lane for some leagues. And they passed another farmstead. And a league is like a few miles or a few kilometres. And this time a dog came out and said, hello, Jack. Hello, cat. Are you going out for a walk today for an adventure? And old Jack says, oh, yes, I've got my shield. So I am. And so the dog nice little doggy said oh I want to come out too woof 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 you know and so Jack said oh right you can come along with me and the cat and so Jack the cat and the dog decided to go out for a walk and so you know there they are on their adventure and they're walking across a field to go and get to some hills and in the field was a bull a big car now most people wearing red would be scared I would be I'd be running <laughs> oh bull or maybe not but um, that's no bull and um, you know old Jack said you know I know this bull and the bull came up to him and said hello there Jack moo 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 meant the bull and uh, you know well Jack knew car language and the bull said I heard you going out on an adventure old Jack he called him old Jack for a laugh and Jack said yes I am with the cat and the dog and the old car said, and the old bull said, oh, I want to come along because this could be fun. I love a good adventure. And so Jack, the cat, the dog and the bull, <laughs> car, moo, all decided to go on an adventure. The cat went meow and the dog went bark, woof woof, and the, the bull went meow. And so they're walking along and, you know, they're going down a country lane up this hill. And a peasant, not a peasant, a pheasant popped out of the edge. And said, hello, Dad, young Jack. I've heard you're going on an adventure. And so, you know, Jack said, yes. How do you know that? I said, oh, everybody's talking about it in the valley. And so, you know, the peasant said, can I come along? And, well, Jack said, yes, of course you can. And so Jack, the cat, the dog, the bull, and the pheasant all went on their adventure. And, you know, there was coming along a, a big old, old hazel tree really big actually been there for generations and on the top was an old squirrel and the squirrel said you know hello there Jack looking down I've heard you going on an adventure mate can I come at this point Jack was getting a bit fed up of all the creatures and the, uh, asking to come along but you know Jack was a nice lad yeah of course you can mate and so you know Jack the cat the dog the bull and the pheasant and there's now the squirrel all carried on and it was getting dark, you know, you don't to be left on the big hillside or in a big wood on your own at night time. But in the distance they saw a long house. But it was a strange long house, Jack's never been to this area before. You know, it was nearly over the other side of the valley. And so he decided to go up. But Jack said, first of all, he said, you, you, you guys, you know, you all wait here, I'll go and check it out. Because if we all go, we'll, we'll not get lodgings. And so Jack, you know, he went along and he, and he and instead of knocking on the door, you know, three times, he tried to look through the window at a wooden old window frame and no glass, didn't cut for glass in those days, just had a pair of linen and some shutters. But he peered in the shutter hole 
and he saw some what he looked like robbers counting a load of silver coin and talking about it. Oh yes, old Stan, that was a good old raid. Oh yes, Sven, we robbed them blind. And, and so Jack, he realised that this was a robber's den or perhaps somewhere where these robbers were staying and counting their, their, their money, their ill-gotten deeds of the day. And so Jack, you know, he crept back. Old creeping Jack, stealthy, without a day nap. And, you know, and um, he came to the creatures. There was the cat, you know, the dog and the bull and the pheasant and the, and the squirrel. Squeak, squeak, went the squirrel. And the old pheasant, you know, went, ah, 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 you know, more like a hawk. Can't do pheasant noises. And the old cow went, moo, and the dog went, woof. And, the, of course, the cat went, meow. And, you know, he told them about his robbers. And they, they, so they, you know, they stayed behind this bush. And, and well, the, the robbers kind of went off. Oh, we were back in a bit, said the robbers, to get our old gains and our money. But first of all, we must go and dig a hole to bury some of it. Ah, hoarding, Jack thought. And so him and the animals all crept in the ass, thinking, well, well, we'll, we'll scare them and then go and get the old sheriff. And so, you know, one of them hid under, the old cat hid under the table and and one of them went upstairs in, into the bedroom and one was in the cupboard and the, the squirrel was in another room and so they all sped about and the old pheasant couldn't go find anywhere so he went on top of the roof and Robin, the robbers these bad thieves came back you know and it, it you know he looked under the table for his treasure he couldn't find it but jack has hidden it where's the treasure can't find the treasure Where's the coins and the bags? And so first of all, he looked under the table and the dog was under there, or the cat, or one of them, and it bit him. And he thought, oh, I've been, I've been attacked by a cobbler. And so, he, he, you know, he thought, I'll go in the cupboard. I'll look in the cupboard and one of the other creatures was in there and attacked him, but he didn't really see what's happening. It was dark. And he thought, oh, I've been attacked by a maid. And, you know, he went upstairs to the bed and there was a cow in bed and he went, Moo! and it horned him with his horn. And he thought, oh, I've been attacked by an old granny. And he, he went to, uh, you know, to the little outhouse where the squirrel was hiding. Squeak, 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 went the squirrel. And the man went, oh, I wonder what's in here. Isn't the old treasure in here? And the squirrel started throwing nuts at him. He thought, oh, I've been attacked by an old man throwing nuts. Ooh. And so he went outside the long grass, he looked on the roof, it was a shingled roof, I mean it had wooden tiles, and there was the pheasant, and it kept on beaking at him and saying rude pheasant things, and he thought, oh, I've been verbally attacked by a pheasant, and it's been throwing things down at him and feathers. And so the robber, the thief, ran back, and he told the men that the house has been moved in with a family, and is now occupied, and they cannot get the treasure. And then... And not into them, Jack had gone and got the sheriff. And the sheriff had organised a posse of these brave men. And they caught the thieves later on that night. And as for the coin, what well, it got back to the original owners who it was stolen from. And everybody was happy. And Jack, the cat, the dog, the car, the pheasant and the squirrel had a great good time. Oh yes. I think if I'm going out Derby for a few pints of beer, beer I think I'd quite happily take a, a cat and a dog and a pheasant and a bull and a, a, a scribble because boy, what, what times you'd have. But I don't think the bar staff would let you in. Oh, he's away. So, yeah. So we do love a good old Jack story. And Jack is a very common name in the medieval times and often they would give these characters the name of Jack. Is it the same Jack all the way along? I don't know, I cannot tell you that. Of in the folklore of Jack. And again, you'll see in this folk tale how the magical number three appeared a few times. But why five animals? This is my version of the story. The original story was slightly different and I told it in my own way. And if you'd like this story in this video, then give us a share. Go out and share it to the world. Because, you know, I think like, a lot of people think on this channel we're very underrated as a channel. And give us a like. Oh yes, goodbye from Braggy. I'm going to swing the camera around so I can walk away this way. Or maybe I might just say goodbye now. Ooh, went the car. 
and squeak squeak went to the squirrel. <laughs> Goodbye.